Hey there YouTubers, how you guys doing? Today I'm going to do my review on my Did Clone. Uh, I found out with the dimensions of this, it's more of like the Mini Did. Uh, where I got it from, it is called the Griffin uh, with the clear tank. Uh, he also has a uh, regular Did size Griffin, but he's out of stock on them and they are a little bit more expensive but I ordered this one because he had it in stock uh, it holds three milliliters of e-liquid which is pretty good for the size of it originally when I got it it leaked like a sieve I mean you could fill the tank up within I'd say about five minutes the tank would be empty well the first time I filled it, I had to put it down, go out, do something. I come back in, my tank was empty. I'm looking in my mod. On top has two holes. <laughs> uh, you know, two holes on top, a bottom hole, and the old buttonhole because I draw the hole on the other side for the button I use on it now. Well needless to say all that liquid went down through the mod, covered the battery, covered the whole entire inside of my mod and leaked out of the bottom hole. My mod was caked in juice so I had to tear it apart, clean it all up, and by the time I was done doing all that, it was about 8, you know, I would say, yeah, about 8, 9 o'clock in the afternoon. And nothing anywhere where I could get O-rings was open. So what I did was I was looking at, let's get on there tight, and my top cap was hard to get on and off very hard and I was looking at it and I was like well that o-ring on top looks bigger than the other o-rings so what I did is I tore it all apart I already had a coil on it I had to rewrap a coil but I tore it all apart and I took the o-ring from up here put down here took the one from down here put up here put it all back together, put water in it, and let it sit with water. 45 minutes went past, I checked on it, didn't leak a drop. Of so I took my wick that I made. Uh, the mesh that comes with this is not pre-wrapped, it's not pre-nothing. Uh, uh, it's just a flat piece of mesh, comes with two of them. I'm going to show you exactly how it comes. Uh, you get a bag with wire in it. Uh, matter of fact, this is the only wire that I have that will work with it right at the moment. You get an Allen key. And I found a couple of rings today and found out they are too big for it. So I have them in there. Uh, I have another tiny little o-ring when stretched out it's just too small uh, there's the mesh it comes with just a flat piece of mesh you gotta roll it oxidize it and everything yourself um, also has a little fill skirt well fill hole screw uh, I leave that out of it I keep them all in the nice little tin that it comes in uh, matter of fact I don't think I'm probably I'm probably not going to use this mesh for this one. Uh, I like the mesh the way I have it set in it right now. But the uh, wire that's with it is a nichrome wire. It's the only thing I got that'll work with it right at the moment, and it's pretty good. Not the best. Uh, the only Kenthel A1 grade uh, wire I have is 32 gauge and I tried to build a couple coils with it I popped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. I popped five 32 gauge coils. I got tired of it and I was like, you know what? The wire it came with, I'm not having problems with popping coils with it. I'll just use it until I get some 28 gauge. Well, I think this is maybe a 30 gauge um, nichrome wire. I'm not exactly sure what gauge it comes with, but it is fairly good. Uh, with three wraps on the coil, I'm going to show you real quick. Three wraps on the coil, I am getting a 0.9 ohms. I'm going to show you what it vapor kind, of, what kind of vapor production it's getting. And I don't have to hold it like that. Etch a silver does the wick. As you can see, it stops producing vapor because it becomes saturated. So, yeah, about right there right now. Now, when it gets lower on juice, which right now it's about a, just a little over half tank, all I got to do is just get that juice to touch the top where that wick is. That's all I got to do to get to get it to vape and vape really good. The lower the juice gets, yeah, the more I have to tilt it. But it's wicking really well for a mesh. I don't know what mesh it comes with. I don't know if it's a 325, 400, but I know it's one of them too. Um, it's wicking really well. And... I'm, I am going to experiment more with uh, wick for these uh, later on, but I'm not going to mess with the wick it's come with. Uh, matter of fact, everything that this comes with works really well. Yeah, I and also I did draw out the hole on it from, I think it's a, uh, I'm going to check to see what millimeter wick hole it comes with. I think it's a one millimeter hole. Yeah, one millimeter air hole. It was way too tight. Uh, I drilled it out to, which would be close to a 1.5, 1.6 millimeter hole. Uh, it's a 1 16th inch hole works really well. I'm going to show you how it vapes. Coil wasn't all the way up to temperature yet. Throat hit right there. <laughs> Ridiculous punch to the throat. Matter of fact, I almost coughed there. The throat hit flavor is beyond <laughs> what I was expecting out of this. Uh, vapor really isn't that great because I did drill the hole out a little too much. Uh, I should have went with a little bit smaller of a hole. But, oh well, that's the way I see it. Um, made a little more airy, and it's not bad like that. Um, because if it was a, any tighter, I'd pr the throat hit would probably be too much for me. Uh, I am going to be dropping my nicotine level in it from, because right now I'm still using 24 milligram nicotine. So I am probably going to end up dropping to about 18 to 19, well, 18 to 16 milligram in it, just so I can take a good long, good drag on it. Because right now, I mean, if I were to take a drag like I'm used to taking,
It's just too much on the throat hit. <laughs> God. <coughs> oh, man. I gotta get... And yes, I'm gonna drink straight from a two-liter bottle. Oh, man. The throat hit is just ridiculous off it. I've been using, you know, Kanger T3s and, all, you know, Kanger T2s and all that. Even my uh, Bulldog Rebuildable Dripper cannot compare to this. Um, I think my Bulldog is 1.3 ohm. And at 1.3 ohm, I can it, it just doesn't compare in flavor throat hit or anything like that matter of fact I have that on uh, another device I've built see I don't get the throat hit off that 24 milligram and it I can vape that all day like that it's just a Genesis when set up right will blow anything away that you vape now with that being said I'm gonna say catch you later vape on and see you on the next video